25 years ago, I was on this stage. It was Honens, the very first inaugural Honens piano competition, and uh, which changed my life, basically. Piano is a big part of my life. It's a part of my identity. Without it, I feel kind of something important missing. When I was a child, we always had a piano at home because my mom was the amateur pianist. And of course, uh, I grew up listening to that. But then my parents realized whatever songs I heard on the radio, I could play them on the piano. You know, he was identified when he was young to go to the Tchaikovsky Conservatory in Moscow and to, to get the kind of training that someone of his gifts should receive. Uh, actually uh, thinking about uh, doing one of the competitions in Spain and they say we cancelled that audition and I was very very upset about this and a lady kindly went through her book and says oh that's a new competition it's a Calgary uh, in Canada would like to go there I said of course Mrs. Honens was still alive and it was the very first year of the competition and there was quite a bit of excitement about it. And a call went out for people that had grand pianos, you know, if they would be willing to bill it, competitors. It was very good memories. You know, think about that. It was a very fun time, first competition, a lot of excitement in the air. It seemed as if the whole city was really alive with music. And at that time, we lived on Riverdale Avenue, and there happened to be three pianists billeted on Riverdale Avenue. So people in the neighborhood would go out for a walk, and they would be, you know, walking down Riverdale Avenue, hearing beautiful music coming out of the Fickners, and hearing beautiful music coming out of our house, hearing beautiful music coming out of a house down the street. It was, you know, it was a phenomenon. My son had these the kind of fat colored pencils. They smelled like fruit. And Dimitri had finished practicing one day and he was sitting in the TV room and, and Zach was doing some coloring. And Zach lifted up his colored pen and waved it without saying anything. And Dimitri went, ah, capitalism. So the unique thing about having Dimitri stay with us, unlike other competitors from other parts of the world, was that he was from a communist country. And a communist country that was, you know, suffering in some ways. The old system was kind of, was, was broken, you know, piece by piece. And uh, the money collapse, financial collapse. And a lot of people lost their, you know, savings, including myself. That was a pretty tough time, I would say. Of course he wanted to go back because his wife was there, his family, it's his country. But, you know, he could see that people had a very good life here compared to the life in Russia. Then the Soviet Union collapsed and when they had an opportunity to come, they took it. I felt like this country right away had somewhat more freedom, people were more open. Of course, uh, that's my home and I love my country, I love Moscow. But it seems like the possibilities there was quite limited. And I thought maybe in Canada I will have more possibilities. If it were, weren't the Honens competition, we would probably not be here. Because we are not this kind of people who would have this kind of nerve to pack your, your suitcase and immigrate. But since we were lucky to be part of the Honens competition, we're here and we stay and then we never regret. My kids are musical, so it seems like uh, they all have some kind of musical ability. Out of my three children, two of my kids were born here 
and they're Canadian. We have some kind of freedom. We follow Russian traditions, we eat Russian food, and so it's kind of a mixture too. I think a lot of Canadians are like that. That's part of being Canadian. I'm busy teaching piano. That's my passion. I love my students. And of course I practice, I love to practice. Olga is now a member of Calgary Philharmonic Orchestra, first violins, and she also performs uh, recitals in different groups with me. Being immigrants, sometime in the past it felt a little bit tough, but now it's fine. Hon is a big part of my life, and I'm still grateful for whatever happened to me. This might have been true for anybody that had a competitor staying with them. But when he would be practicing, and I would be doing something in the kitchen perhaps, and I would hear him play, it would make me weep. It was so beautiful. It was so amazing to have someone so gifted in your home playing such beautiful music.